Hey hi welcome back to the series of automotive cyber security sessions i am tota krishna hema your cyber security expert so in this video we are going to discuss about cyber security assessments and cyber security audits so what all the standards we need to adhere with to do cyber security assessments and cyber security audits so these are the standards that those are iso sae 21434 ISO PAS 5112 and UNICE or UNIK 155. ISO SAE 21434. As you all know, this is a new standard, new international standard which is developed by the ISO to develop. It is developed for the automotive cyber security engineering. So as the other standards of ISO from the year 2015. so this is also built based on the risk based approach so the identification and treatment of the potential cyber security risks will be treated based on the risk based approach and the it talks about production and operation of vehicles and its ene systems so since it is defined for the automotive industry so it should get in adherence with the v model so if we define the v model so it can go hand in hand with other standards like functional safety so it could be a plug in in case of the other standards so with an independent assessment of see once we will in your organization so you might have uh, a person like who is competent enough uh, to conduct the assessments and the and the reviews for your work products so once after ensuring that your particular uh, product or the process is in in adherence with the iso 2144 requirements um, then you have to give those evidences to the third party third party assessment company to assess it independently so with this independent assessment so you might have think you might have understood the standard in one way and with the help of uh, the external or the third party assessment company uh, you will come up with the fulfillment of the 2134 in an other perspective as well so like you know it ensures the coverage of the complete standard so uh, once the completion of the it is independent assessment from the third party assessment company so it will give an assessment report to the oem and suppliers so it will act as an evidence that it is conforming uh, that the process or the product which is which is um, in compliance with iso 2134 this thing this assessment report and the cyber security case and you know other evidences will be given to the sub certification body uh, so which can issue a certification for the evaluated processes and product like the certification body you can say like you know a t like tu vinod or this kind of companies so iso pas 5112 the iso pas 5112 is a audit guideline to support iso 2144 requirements so uh, this talks about your you know planning of your audit program conducting your audit um and you know um reporting the audit how to conduct the meetings like opening meeting closing meeting and you know how to do follow ups and uh, uh, these kind of things and even the preparation of final audit report with respect to the class mapping everything like all the guidelines will be there as part of this 51 to standard to support this uh, 2144 standard unice 155 or unice unice 155 or unique 155 or un regulation number 155 is an european type approval standard for vehicle types so it is an automotive cyber security standard and it is very particular about the type approvals vehicle type approvals so it is it talks about automotive cyber security and cyber security management system as well so one by providing the test reports of at system level if it is in software architecture uh, level then we can get an approval for the system type 
and wherein if you provide uh, the test reports at the vehicle level then uh, you can get an uh, an approval for uh, the vehicle type and uh, uh, like oen before these two things the first thing is like cyber security management system of the but of the oem should get certified for the first thing is your csms or the oem csms should get certified for the unice uh, 155 standard the second thing is your software architecture of the of the system should get in certified with the unice 155 standard regulation and the third thing is vehicle level so vehicle approval testing will be done like uh, for the vehicle type uh, finalization uh, so don't forget to subscribe my channel so click on the notification bell button and thank you